Hey y'all, welcome back to Fire and Water Cooking. I am Darren, of course, and today, I know I've never done this on the channel before, so something really new, because I've never had this. We're gonna make kangaroo burgers, guys. And we're gonna cook them sous vide, and then we're gonna sear them up. So I've done sous vide burgers before, a long time ago on this channel, but I'm gonna start doing a uh, series of anything but beef burgers. So I'm gonna start off with something really, truly different kangaroo. I got this from Wild Fork online. They get it from uh, Fossil Farms. Uh, you can get it from Fossil Farms or Wild Fork. I think they're owned by the same company. Kangaroo Burgers, guys. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. guys like I said it is kangaroo but it's got about 4% beef added for fat I believe because kangaroo is very very lean so um, never had this before I decided there's a bunch of different kinds of meat you can get from wild fork so I'm gonna try a couple different ones right but kangaroo ostrich venison pork anything but beef so we're gonna do the kangaroo today I'm not gonna have my wife eat it she was very very weary of trying anything new so the kangaroo burger is gonna be me but what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually patty them up into thick pub style burgers and then we're going to sous vide them and I'm gonna sous vide them at 140 degrees which is right at medium I'm gonna do that for about an hour just to get it cooked all the way through then we're gonna sear them off in the Kamado Joe Classic 3 on the new Kamado uh, griddle, the cast, uh, the carbon steel griddle. So get a nice real hard sear on these, make a medium kangaroo burgers, guys. I can't wait. I'll be right back, show you how I'm gonna season them up. All right, guys, I'm gonna get the kangaroo out of the pack here. And one of the reasons why I'm gonna sous vide it is I want it to cook all the way through and get pasteurized but I still want to make this more of a medium I don't want it really medium rare just not uh, really sure what this kangaroo is going to taste like like I said I'm the only one who's going to be eating this my wife uh, I'm going to spare her from trying this out and um so since I'm not really sure, I don't want it to be totally medium rare. I just want it to be medium. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do about a third of a pound, I think. This is one pound pack right here. So it's gonna be a pretty good sized burger. It's windy out here today. I'm trying to do it with my press here so that uh, I can get a nice good burger shape and when we um, put this in the vacuum bag when we vacuum seal it we're actually gonna do this on a very lower um, time setting so that it doesn't squish it all the way flat which I think we're gonna do about 12 seconds of the vacuum in my chamber sealer so first of all, I'm going to show you what this kangaroo looks like. And remember, it does have 4% beef in it, mostly because, like I said, it's very lean, not very much fat in there. Sorry, it's dark over here. Let me get the light over this way. There you go. So not very much fat, pretty red. Um, I guess it is a red meat, so looks pretty good. Pretty, it's going to be pretty uh, medium when it gets done. So I got my nice patty there. I'm going to take the other burgers that I'm making here for my wife and my daughter. Do the same thing. try it out so I'm just gonna put a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning 
salt, pepper, garlic, black garlic, onion powder. I'm not going to put a ton because I really want to taste the kangaroo, right? I want to know what that kangaroo tastes like. We're going to put them in my vacuum sealer bag here, guys. I might even do the kangaroo in a different bag just so that my wife doesn't get the heebie-jeebies. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna vacuum these up, and I'll be back to show you what they look like on that low setting. I'll be back. All right, guys, I did right at 15 seconds on the chamber sealer, and it took just enough air out to where these aren't gonna float, and they're gonna seal it up really nice, and they're not gonna be smushed. Right after that, I got my griddle all heated up. It's about 600 degrees. We're gonna toast these buns take them off really quick and then we're gonna get ready to sear the bad boys up I'll be right back hey guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these out now it's been just at right in an hour and that griddle is super hot right now all right check these out it's my kangaroo burger here are my beef burgers look a little different remember the kangaroo burger was a lot more red for sure if you can't tell guys there's a airplane show going on not far from where I'm living here Sun and fun in Lakeland if you look it up all right these are my beef burgers right here kind of pale but remember we're going to pat these really dry so they get a good crust on them so my kangaroo burgers it's a little pinker a lot of a lot of juice came out of that for sure all right we're gonna pat these real dry we want these to get a really good crust on them then we're going to melt that cheese the moister they are the more water has to uh, evaporate when it hits the cooking surface so the drier we can get these the better just like with a steak if you want that good crispy crust Maillard reaction you really need to get these pretty dry all right Kangaroo beef. It's pretty. If you can't tell, guys, it's pretty easy to tell in person which one is which for sure. I am gonna use a little Kewpie mayo, a little ketchup, because I don't think I can eat just a plain dry burger, especially if it's really lean like that kangaroo is gonna be. All right, guys, let's go put them on the griddle. All right, guys, the grill is nice and hot here. We're going to get these all seared up, but maybe just a little over a minute on each side. Uh, we're going to flip it over, and then when we flip it again, we'll put the cheese on to get it melted up. These are going to be pretty awesome. They're going to stay pretty medium to medium rare. Um, we're going to close the lid for a second to melt that cheese, and then we're going to take these bad boys off and take a bite and see how they are. I'll be right back. All right, guys, let's take a gander. I'm gonna lay down just a little bit of Kewpie mayo, both sides. A little bit of this ketchup. Not a ton. Take my kangaroo burger. Put it right there on the bun. Cut it in half, just so you guys can see what it looks like. That's pretty medium. Check that out. Medium kangaroo. Got a little piece. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, I really
really can't really taste that much of a difference between ground beef guys maybe just a little bit sweeter that's about the only thing I could say it's still a red meat mm. it's pretty good something different to try I said, it's maybe just a little bit sweeter than ground beef of course it's leaner it's not that much fat to it but pretty good check it out check out the ground kangaroo from wild fork cook it sous vide so you can make it nice and medium rare and pasteurized tell you what it's good stuff thanks for watching <laughs> we swallow this it's the only thing with lean stuff guys it really gets kind of dry but mm. thanks for watching follow us on facebook instagram Check out Fire and Water Cooking Edible Creations down below. Check out the Ground Kangaroo from Wild Fork. Thanks for watching. Follow us and watch the other anything but beef burgers we do in the series. I'll be back.